walking into the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium for another adventure. No weather is going to stop the adventurers. Ava T, walking with Daddy. Mommy and Lilla's up there. We're headed for the Australian Islands, the African Forest, and the Shores Aquarium. If you've not been to the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, this has been a place that has been built up over the years by Jungle Jack Hanna. And it is an amazing place to come see now. So if you do have a chance, come visit. <laughs> Filming family adventures. Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. It's a play area outside of the Manatee Coast. Ava, Lilla, Mommy, Daddy, and Mommy. I go into Manatee Coast now. Thank you, young man. Ava's going to take you around the mangrove forest. So this is the mangrove forest. And there's like trees. And if you, there's some blue herons up here if you guys are watching. See there's some birds right up there. There's He's actually trying Family <laughs> and there's some ducks on here. And there is a sea turtle. These are some fish. Did you see the turtle? Did you get a picture of the turtle there? Okay, so right here, this is a stingray. Is that stingray? That the stingray? Here's our newest fish. Right here, this is a parrot fish. They're very colorful. You see how colorful it is? And then it's got a nose that looks like a beak of a parrot. Isn't that pretty? Yes. Yeah. These are amber jack or pompano jacks. That one's called a look down because it's got a nose that looks like it's looking down to the bottom. There's a different kind of stingray. This is a cow nose stingray because it has a flat nose, like a cow. Let's see what else we. Oh, here are the two young manatees. The one in the front closest to us is Tostone, and the one in the back is Banana Tea. And they're very good friends. You can see that one of them's holding the other one's flipper. And the great big one down there is named Stubby. She's an adult, and the other two are youngsters. They're about two years old. Over here is an area where kids can play and it's basically like it's this screen and there's like a steering wheel, all the parts to a boat. And this is where adults can sit. And over here, 
this is a sculpture of an alligator, which you can climb on. But it's very slippery. Hundred and ninety thousand gallons out here right. for the manatees, fish, turtles, stingrays. Right. And there's six, also some brown pelicans and yeah. there's ducks. Some ducks. There's a lot of ducks. They have a holding tank in the back that equals it out to uh, two hundred and fifty thousand gallons of water. It's pretty amazing. Stubby here. What was the uh, story on Stubby? She was Stubby injured. Her, uh, she was injured. Um, her tail, if she turns around, you'll see her tail, which is also called the paddle. And you'll see damage on it. You see how it looks like a chunk is missing from yeah. it. If you compare her paddle to the other one. Yeah, it looks like a third of her tail is missing. Exactly. At least a third. And so, um, you know, man is, is, is our manatee's worst enemy, if you will, because of boats. And what we're doing to the environment is changing the sea. But she was a boat strike, and um, so she was brought in um, to rehabilitation in Florida because of her tail. And she's got so much missing that she's... Yeah, I want to take it. She's probably a permanent resident here. That's right. Okay. And she acts as a surrogate to the orphans that are brought in okay, here. Okay, so these other two here. that are here, they will they will go back out into More the wild after they, they're rehabilitated. Yes, yes, they need to get up to 600 to 700 pounds and be healthy before they're released. Okay. And when you get down here in the bottom, you'll see a, a, a picture on the wall of all the names of all the manatees we've released. And also, well, we come down here, I'll show you. There's also a, um, they put a tagging monitor on their paddles when they are released, and there's one of those on the wall. So oh, okay. So there is, you can see how this loops around their paddle, like that, and it will break away if they get caught. And then this floats up above the water so that, but it sends a radio signal so they're able to pick up where. where. So they watch them, especially for the first year they watch them. And these are the names of all the manatees that have been here. And then all of them released except, see this one? Can you read what that one says? That's right. And you saw her in the water. And she's the one whose paddle it has, as you said, about a third of a chunk of it. It's gone. So right now, the two that we have are banana tea and tostone. Okay, that's the and other two small ones. All these others have made it, graduated through here and been released. And been released back into the wild. That's correct. I'm taking it the wild is probably back down in Florida. That's right, and they okay. released them in the area that they found them in, so that they feel that they have some reference, some um, remembering that they can remember where they were. Awesome. So they. Um, they, they make sure that they put them back where they found them. That's pretty neat. And as a result, these two will not be released in the same spot because they came from a different spot. Even though they're very bonded, they feel that it, the more important thing is to put them back in an area where they have some instinctual memory. How big and round that paddle is compared to stubbies that's got that big V chunk out of it. Absolutely. They use that for propulsion in the water. They need that. They need a full paddle. And that was the Manatee Coast at the Columbus Zoo. Hello, this is Filming Family Adventures. If you like our videos, please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you.